Hello, everyone. I'm happy to present Ride the Dog, the all-in-one app. We came up with this name because of the Black Rover from Makers and the idea of traveling. So we say Ride the Dog. The team comprised four developers, Ara, Ben, Luke, and, and me, Javi. Ride the Dog was created to solve a problem that we all at some point in our life faced to find all the travel information you need in one place and stop looping on, on so many places. So because we were designing an app, um, which we hadn't done before, we utilized a application called Wireframe, which is a blueprints tool, which allows us to essentially uh, construct a uh, temporary website, uh, temporary app design. So we knew what sort of applications we wanted to present. So on the left-hand side, we have our MVP, which showed us the minimum uh, functions that we wanted to add, such as the top 10 places and weather, and also a currency converter. And on the right, we have our full product app that shows all of the restaurants, flights, hotels that we wanted to show fully with our finished application. Next slide. So for our tech stack, we decided to use Native React for our application, which works with both iOS and Android. We use Native React for the, uh, for the front end and JavaScript for the back end. And we had done a, just a little bit of React, but not much. So when it came to uh, Native React, we had a little bit of adjustment with some of the syntax. Firebase we used as our, uh, data, uh, as our database backend. Exos we used to get the uh, APIs off of, our, um, off of where we wanted them and onto our application. And JSON we used for testing purposes. Next slide. So we designed, uh, so we wanted a color palette that would work throughout our whole app. So it stayed consistent. So we based it on our own duck. Uh, so we based it on a duck, the uh, mallard, which would uh, just uh, run with our logo. Next slide. And so as you would expect with a travel app, we used a lot of APIs to gather information. So we had seven in total, and all of these were chosen because they had open uh, source information that um, updated regularly. So with our open weather app, it showed us not just the weather, but where um, specifically where it was coming from and what conditions there would be. And especially for somewhere like here with that API, we could see um, where the locations and map was where someone typed in the location. Next slide. I want to briefly talk about the challenges we faced along our journey. First of all, we are a small group of four members, but we had a grand vision of creating all-in-one travel app, which we didn't want to compromise. So as a team, we really tried to stick together and stay agile so we can build our app quickly. Secondly, all the tech stack we used for our app was completely new to us. None of us had an experience of creating a mobile app with React Native or with creating database with Firebase. So there was a very steep learning curve. Lastly, we had to implement multiple APIs to get the various data points, which required us to research what's out there in terms of API. And because each API is different, we had to learn how to use them one by one. So in the next slide, um, I want to show you visually the different stages of our app. In this slide from left to right, you can see the evolution of our app with adding new APIs. As you can see, we started with a basic search box. Then we added the Yelp API to get the list of restaurants and landmarks in each city. You can see that our app is starting to take shape in this slide. We added design features and we decided to add flight information. And lastly, the user sign up and log in by using Firebase. In the next slide, um, as a summary, um, we managed to work through these challenges and achieve what we have. And now I'm very excited to hand over to Luke who will finally present our app. Thanks, Ara. So I'll just load through the page. Okay, so our app, we start off, we have made a bouncing duck loading page and there is the login page and the create account page, both made with Firebase. So I'm just gonna preload some user information into that and log in. So it's currently preset to London. So when you log in, you can see the flag, the place name, the country name, the language spoken, the region, the currency. Um, it's depicted on a map. It also shows weather and temperature information and information about travel guideline, uh, guidance. There is also a currency converter. Um, so when you add a new amount into there, it will give you the GBP currency converted rate. 
Next are the restaurants, the hotels, and the landmarks. So it shows the top 10 um, currently on Yelp. And when you click on more info, it will take you to the Yelp page, which will allow you to view things such as reviews. And then when you click on directions, it will ask you for your current location. And if you click on navigate in the top right corner, it will give you directions to the location. And you can also click the call button and it will call the location. At the bottom, we've also included a little duck that when you click it, it goes quack um, for no real reason, just because. Um, next, we're gonna show you the about page. Um, so that's currently shows the developer information. So when you click on one of the buttons of the developers, like we're gonna click on ours, it will take you to her GitHub profile. There is also an email address which you can contact us on. And if you click on check behind the scenes, it will take you to the organization we created on GitHub for the project. So now we're going to import a new destination. We're gonna choose Paris and all the information on the page is gonna dynamically update. So as you can see, all the information is now changed and also the currency converter, um, the FX is now set to European and it will give you the current FX rate for that. All of the locations have now changed to reflect Paris. And when you scroll to the bottom, you can ch click check flights and it will show you the cheapest flight to that location. And when you click on select, it will take you through to Kiwi and show you more information about the flight and allow you to book directly from there. One of the cool things we managed to figure out was that uh, Rome is currently in Italy, but it also has the Vatican as well. So when we type in Rome, we managed to get it to display both sets of information, one for the Vatican and one for Italy. And you wouldn't think there's much of a difference, but apparently it's not safe to travel to the Vatican, but it's fine to travel to Rome. And that is our app. Thank you very much for listening.